Good afternoon, viewers. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about longitudes and latitudes. Uh, first of all, let us begin with longitudes. Longitudes are imaginary lines passing through the Earth's surface from its axis, forming a cycle of equal radius. So, first, this is an Earth. Longitudes pass through the surface of the Earth from north to south or from south to north from a fixed point forming a cycle from north to south from this point to another point forming a complete cycle of equal radius these are longitude so if this is a center from any point here to any part of the of the longitude is called r and this R, which is the radius of the arc, is approximately equal to 6,400 kilometers. And among these longitudes, there's one great among them which is unique called Greenwich Meridian. Greenwich Meridian. All other longitudes are measured from these unique longitudes. Then latitudes. Latitudes are also imaginary lines passing through the Earth's surface from east to west. All these are latitudes from west to east or from east to west, forming a cycles. And these cycles they are of different radius. All these cycles have different radius. Then the relationship between longitude and latitude is that there is a great cycle called the equator. It is only the equator that has equal radius that has equal radius with the longitude but all other latitudes have a small radius compared to the equator or the longitudes one needs to know the relationship between this small r and this capital r the relationship between them is this this is an equator an equator has a radius equal to the radius of the earth which is 6,400 and suppose we have another latitude here latitude which is also a cycle of radius small r because uh, the radius of the equator is bigger than the of all other radius of the latitude this is an axis of the earth I remember from the center of the earth to any part of the earth is equal to this radius capital R so if we connect this point to this point this is also a capital R and any angle subtended here will be the same angle going to be subtended here alternate angles are equal and you know this is the center of a circle suppose this point is A and this point is B we can bring it out from a sketch this is capital R and this is small r. This is a right angle triangle with hypotenuse capital R. And this is adjacent, which is small r. Cos theta will be equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And adjacent is small r. And hypotenuse is capital R. By cross multiplication, small r equals capital R cos theta. So this is the relationship between small r and capital R. Capital R is constant, which is 6,400. And the small r varies depending on the side of the latitude. So if you are looking for small r, this is the relationship between them. It's capital R, which is 6,400, multiplied by the cos of the angles obtained by that latitude. Suppose we have a line longitude here 
maybe 40 degrees east and we have another latitude 50 degrees south this is south the interception between longitude and latitude will determine a particular position so each position on the earth is being intersected by one longitude and one latitude suppose you have two towns on the same latitude on the same latitude maybe this latitude is 60 degrees south this is south this is north this is east and this is west suppose this longitude is 25 degrees east and this other longitude is 35 degrees west and this town is a and this other town is b and this is the center of this latitude this is small r radius and this is other small r radius if you want to find the distance between these two towns a to b uh, it is just an arc of a cycle with angle theta and radius and if this is l you know l is calculated as theta divided by 360 degrees then times 2 pi r times 2 pi r but you know that r small r is equal to capital r cos theta and theta here which is the common latitude is 60 degrees so we have r equals to 6400 cos 60 degrees and you know that cos 60 degrees is 1 over 2 then 1 over 2 of this is going to be 3 two zero zero kilometer so now the radius of this uh, parallel of latitude is three thousand two hundred then you need to know the angles of tended here by the two longitude you know the first one if this is the axis of the earth the first one of tended 35 degrees and the other longitude of tended an angle of 25 degrees the total angles of tended here is 60 degrees if you add them all together so we see the angular difference angular difference alpha is now going to be you add all these two together you get uh, 60 degrees now since we have obtained the angles obtained by these two longitudes and we have gotten our small r we can now substitute into this formula to find the distance between this town a and uh, town B. So L, which is the distance from A to B, at AB equal to theta, which I have used here as alpha, 60 degrees, divided by 360 degrees, times 2 times pi, which is 22, divided by 7, then times R, small r, which is 3,000, 200 3200 now we are free to use our calculator and multiply everything 60 times 2 times 22 times 3200 then we divide by 360 then we divide by 7 And we get approximately equal to now the distance between A and B is approximately equal to 3352.38 kilometers. So therefore the distance between this A town A and town B is 3352.38 approximately. This is how to find the distance between two towns on the same latitude but different longitudes. In my next video, I am going to show you how to find the distance between two towns 
on the same longitude but different latitudes.